gentleman, Miss Janelle Monet. Her outstanding band, give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Miss Janelle Monet, come on out here and give a, give a bow. Thank you so much. So, in addition to Janelle Monet, please give Kendrick Lamar a big round of applause. Here he is right here. So, on behalf of all of us, uh, obviously we were hoping to share their incredible talents with 5,000 people out on the South Lawn. Uh, and, you know, Fourth of July is about family. It's about the American family. It's about us getting together with the people we love most. We all know that uh, our freedoms are dependent on uh, an incredible group of men and women in uniform and their families who look out for us every single day. We, some of them are in attendance here today. Please give them a big round of applause. For those, for, for, those in our, for those in our military who could not attend, uh, we just want to say how much uh, we admire, respect, and appreciate everything you do to fight for our freedom every single day. And, you know, obviously, Fourth of July, we enjoy the hot dogs, we enjoy the burgers, we enjoy the barbecue, we enjoy the, the day off for a lot of us. Uh, we enjoy the fireworks, uh, but it's important to remember what a miracle this country is. How, incredible, how incredibly lucky we are that uh, people generations ago were willing uh, to take up arms and fight for our freedom. And then people inside this country understanding that there were imperfections in our union. We're willing to keep on fighting on behalf of extending that freedom to all people and not just some. And that story, that, that story of independence uh, is not something that happens and then we just put away. It's something that we have to fight for every single day. It's something that we have to nurture. And we have to spread the word and we have to work on and it involves us respecting each other and it involves us uh, recognizing that there's still people in this country who are going hungry and that they're not free because of that there there's still people in this country who can't find work and and, and freedom without the ability to contribute to society and, and put a roof over your head and you look after your family that's that's not yet what we aim for uh, and so on a day like this, we celebrate, we have fun, we marvel at everything that's been done before, but we also have to recommit ourselves to making sure that everybody in this country is free, that everybody has opportunity, that everybody gets a fair shot, that we look after all of our veterans when they come home, that we look after our military families and give them a fair shake, that every child has a good education, that, that is what we should be striving for on Independence Day. So uh, to all of you who are here in this amazing gathering, uh, we love you and we're grateful that you could join us. To our incredible artists, thank you for always sharing. I got to tell you, I have to tell you that uh, these two, uh, I've gotten a chance to know, and, and they are both amazing artists and talented and, and popular and doing great things, but they're also very conscious about their responsibilities and obligations. And they put in a lot of time and effort on behalf of a lot of causes that are important. We're really proud of them for that. And uh, just because it's a job of a father to embarrass his daughters, I've got one last job. It, is, it just so happens that 
uh, we celebrate our country's birthday on the same day uh, that we celebrate my oldest daughter's birthday. So just a quick happy birthday for Malia. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Malia. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless America.